Danielle, hello. Hello, hi Victoria, how are you? I'm really well, thank you so much. How are you doing? I'm really good, thank you. I'm so excited we're doing this together. It's so nice to see you face to face. You're going to lead us through a wonderful face over fitness class and introduce, for those who don't already know, just some of the Amora Botanica products. And we also have joining us today the Singapore crew, the Jal Yoga Singapore studio and community. They've recently completed their face yoga training in collaboration with Almora Botanica. And I know some of them have got some questions for you, which we'd like to ask you later. But first, let's get started with some rejuvenating face yoga fitness exercises. And today we're going to focus on that glowing skin. You're ready to begin. And I'm going to keep an eye on the questions ready for later on. Thank you so much. In a way that I always love to start every face yoga session is just by centering ourselves and allowing ourselves to really connect with our breath. So I think today it'd be really nice just to place our hands onto our heart center and just close our eyes for a moment and just take a lovely, long, deep breath. So it's really nice to breathe in through your nose and just allow your abdomen to rise for about a count of four. And then just to breathe out for about a count of six and just allow your abdomen to lower. And it's really nice as you breathe here with your hands on your heart, just to set an intention for the next sort of 25 minutes or so, how you'd like to feel, or what you'd like to call in. Just take a moment to set that intention in your own mind, to really connect with your breath, really connect with yourself in the present moment and to really connect with everyone else around the world who's joining in this class today too and just have a little smile on your face as you just gently open up your eyes and continue that deep breathing and all the way through this class just make sure you work to your own level with everything really tune in to how your face is feeling today so if you have something to apply to your face now, Victoria and I are both going to use one of the beautiful products from Almora at Botanica. Today I'm going to use the Radiance Day face oil, which I love. What are you using, Victoria? I'm using the Day Radiance as well, uh, yeah. because it, it's so good. It's multi-beneficial. It, the main three things it does is it radiates, it nourishes, it rehydrates, and it protects the skin, yeah. but um, also, of whenever I've got a ring light on, basically, it doesn't make my skin look greasy. I don't know if you find the same. It's so light. It's very light and it's beautiful and it gives that lovely glide for the face yoga. So whatever you're using at home, hopefully you've got one of the Armour um, Botanical of of products. If you haven't used whatever you've got and just apply it to your skin, um, just in any way that feels good, use your intuition to start off with. We're going to massage a bit deeper in a moment. We just want to make sure we've applied a little bit of oil or serum to our skin. And a way that I really love to start is just by warming up the skin and just getting our hands used to nourishing our face. So let's just do a little bit of light tapping all the way over our face. This is just going to allow the product just to penetrate into our skin. Just going to get it in a little bit deeper. Also just going to start to warm up our facial muscles, warm up the skin. And I always think this is a really nice chance for us just to connect our hands to our face and just remind ourselves that our face and our hands are just such beautiful healing tools in themselves. You know, we often forget how much healing power we have, particularly in our hands for our face. So this is just such a nice way to start. And then whilst we're here, let's just very gently do a little bit of lymphatic drainage. So we're just gonna do really, really gentle. It's just simply coming just slightly behind the ears down to our collarbone. And I really like doing this just to open up the lymph vessels, just gently start to drain down to those lymph nodes before we start some of our lifting massage. Lovely, okay, just pulse a little bit there on the collarbone. And then we'll do a little bit of lifting. I think we'll start with the neck area today, if that's okay with you, Victoria. Sounds great. Great. Lo lovely. So let's just work up the neck, just start to warm up that area a little bit. And I like to slightly tilt my head back for this, but if you have any neck issues, if you're doing this at home, please just work to your own level with everything as you do this. It's fine to adapt techniques. You know, you are your greatest guide, you are your greatest teacher. 
So really listen to what your body wants. I always like doing this because I feel like just gently stretches the back of the neck, it opens up the front of the neck, opens up our heart center, which is that area that we started with today as well. Lovely. And then let's just bring our hands onto our collarbone. And we're going to just tilt our head back again. We're gonna go straight into a facial exercise here. We're going to bring our bottom lip out slightly, just like this, and we're going to engage that big muscle at the front of our neck. And we're going to hold there and focus back on our breath again. So we're engaging this platysma muscle, this big muscle at the front of the neck. We're working with strengthening and toning this muscle. And as this muscle strengthens and tones, the skin attaches, tightens and tautens and lifted. And also it's helping to gently stretch the back of our neck as well. And you can just take one more long deep breath there. Breathe in, feel your abdomen rise, and a long exhalation out as you bring your head gently back down. Lovely. Bring your hands back into your lap here, and then just turn your head to one side gently. You're going to bring your chin up just slightly here, so you're starting to open up the side of the neck. Relax down through your shoulder here lips together and then you're going to bring the tip of the tongue up and down towards the roof of the mouth at about a rate of one per second so you feel it working that area underneath the chin we're going to try and aim to do 20 here together so let's start on this side if you want to check it it's working, you can just place a hand under your chin. You should feel that area working, that area being exercised. So this is like the mewing, which is suddenly popular, which you've been doing for a long, long time, yeah. right? <laughs> Absolutely. And if you just come back to centre there. And a lot of the concept of that, as you rightly say, is about strengthening our tongue working with our posture and a really good tip actually and i'm glad you mentioned that a really good tip to help to strengthen the tongue area to help to align both sides of the face to help the lower face stay nice and strong is our daily resting tongue posture so what i really love doing is just resting the tongue just gently on the roof of the mouth just slightly behind the teeth and almost sucking the tongue up towards the roof of the mouth having the lips together and just breathing deeply. And if you can try and practice that throughout the day, it's going to encourage you to do nose breathing throughout our day, because so many of us do quick, shallow breaths, and we often do that mouth breathing as well. And that's really gonna help so many things for our mental and physical health as well. So thank you for mentioning that, that's great. Okay, so let's turn to the other side. Let's bring the chin up, let's bring our lips together, and let's do 20 here. So tip of the tongue up and down towards the roof of the mouth, really feeling it working underneath the chin here. It's really helping to tighten and tauten this area underneath the chin. So this is an area which we can often find as we get older, can start to get a little bit looser. So by doing this every day, you have really good effects with tightening and tautening through the neck area. So when you've done your 20, just gently come back to centre. Great. And what I also love about those neck techniques is it helps to correct that forward posture excuse me, that we tend to have in day-to-day -day life. So we tend to spend so long on our phones and our laptops in this area and we get fluid accumulation here. We tend to get lines in this area. We get a lot of tension here. So all of this is just opening it all up, which is lovely. So it's helping just to correct that forward posture. And then once we finish those opening techniques, we come back to a lovely neutral spine position. I can feel it especially right here underneath the neck. Yeah. So I feel like my jaw is much more defined than it was 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I know, it's lovely, isn't it? And talking about sculpting, let's actually just tap underneath here. I'm going to. I really like doing this. Product. Yeah, pop a little bit I more. Feel that my hand, like I can feel it on my neck. I didn't put enough I know. on. So it's nice to, I'm going to put a little bit more just in this area under here and then just tapping underneath here and I like with this one to have the chin parallel to the floor and again it just helps to correct that sort of forward position there and this tapping is helping to boost the blood circulation so we're encouraging all the fresh blood 
and oxygen and nutrients up to the skin surface. So it's really feeding the skin. And the combination of that and all the beautiful oils that we're using here, we really are nourishing the skin from the inside and the outside. I saw one of your stories the other day. I love the cleanser too, the gel cleanser. My favorite cleanser. It's such a, yeah, I've got it. Like, yeah, this one. So simple, yes, yes. Yeah. Mine is mine. It's so simple and yet it does so much more. Such a nice oh, thing to The way it foams and everything. I sometimes don't, I just leave it on for as long yeah. as I can. So nice, so nice. And then let's just take our thumbs and let's work up the jaw area. And actually we can massage with our cleansers as well. And this is something which people don't do enough really. Actually, if you put your cleanser on and you spend just 20 seconds or 30 seconds massaging in your cleanser, not only are you going to get really good benefits from the cleanser because it's getting deeper into the skin, but you're getting all those beautiful benefits of massage as well. So you're boosting the circulation, you're helping with the lymphatic drainage, you're brightening the skin, you're helping the skin to have lovely glow. So really get in the habit of massaging in your cleanser as well. I know what I like with cleansing, especially like, most of us are in a rush all the time, right? So yeah. a lot of money to spend on a cleanser that you're gonna put on your skin and literally just wash off after two seconds. <laughs> oh, so true, exactly. You want to really be getting all the lovely benefits of the ingredients and actually give them a moment to get into the skin. I know it's hard to find a moment. <laughs> it's hard to find a moment and we're both super busy. And I think that, I don't know about you, Victoria, but I think for me, it's not about saying, okay, I'm gonna find 30 minutes or an hour. It's actually, how can I think about, how can I spend two minutes or three minutes here and there whilst I'm doing things like applying my cleanser, whilst I'm applying a face cream or a face oil, how can I then just do a little bit of massage or how can I do a little bit of breathing or a little bit of self-care in those moments and slot them in throughout the day? Yeah, and today for everyone watching Danielle yeah. now, you know, pick your favourite, we will save this to the grid, by the way, so you can practice it again and again. And Danielle's got like hundreds of these exercises and classes on her Instagram, let alone on her YouTube. And you've also contributed some classes to the Face Yoga Fitness page on AmoraBotanica.com. But just remember your one favourite exercise, right, that we've done, that you're taking us through in today's class. And just repeat that when you find these moments absolutely and that's the thing and it really is and it becomes less overwhelming like that mm. that's fine because you know i know yeah. like me are often introducing people who are very new to face yoga um and actually my top tip is start small but do it regularly so actually it's better to do three minutes every day than just to do one hour once a month you know, you want to try and keep it as regular as possible, but, but fit it in when you can. And I love these lifting techniques we've just done. I find that they really help to brighten the cheeks. And then I really like getting underneath the cheekbones as well. And if you've already applied some oil to your skin, you'll have this lovely glide here. You can probably see in my skin, you can see a little bit of pinkness and a little bit of redness coming up to the skin. And as long as that's never feeling sore, you know, don't feel worried about your skin sort of changing colour a little bit as you're doing your techniques. It's a really good sign and you can feel it working too because for me I can feel that warmth. Mm. I can feel that fresh blood coming up to the skin surface there. And then using the two fingers and let's pinch around the cheek area as well. So think about pinching down to the muscle rather than pinching the skin outwards. And this is really going to help to brighten our cheeks. And if you particularly want to work on the nasal label folds or the marionette lines, spend a little bit longer there as well. <laughs> You've not got it. It's just funny what you said about, you know, all you need to do is practice a couple of minutes every day, not an hour's session once a month. Yeah. Same with body fitness, you know, but this is what responds far more quickly with a regular practice, right, of just two minutes. Yeah. But um, I've, I've recently, I'll go through phases where if I'm not teaching these classes, I don't always do them. Yeah. And because of a regular practice, it stays with you for a little while, right? Definitely. Rather than these hours then doing nothing, hours then doing nothing. That is absolutely the key, for sure. And we're here just tapping like we did at the beginning, but just tapping over the skin, just really helping to encourage more of that fresh blood to the skin surface. And in a moment, we're gonna do two really nice facial exercises for the cheek area, because we've really been focusing on massage for the last few minutes here. And then, gosh, time's going quickly. I'm going to have to speed up a little bit. 
time for some questions because I can see that a few have gone already. Exactly. Okay, so let's do one cheek, one eyes, one forehead. We'll do a few questions. Do you have your mushrooms with you as well? <coughs> mushrooms. Okay. We'll try and fit that oh. in. Let's do one for the cheeks. Let's do a facial exercise to start with, and then we'll do the, the guasha mushrooms in a moment. Okay. So let's puff the cheeks out full of air and let's transfer the air from cheek to cheek. So we're going. And we're going to breathe in and out through our nose here as we transfer the air from cheek to cheek. And what I like doing with this is using my fingers and just smoothing out any lines which may be created around this area. So keep breathing deeply. So what we're doing here is we're strengthening and toning many of the muscles in the cheeks. And as they lift and tone, the skin attaches, tightens and tautens. So very good for helping to maintain our cheek strength, but also to lift muscles that are starting to get weaker or are sagging a little bit. Keep that going, transferring from cheek to cheek there. Lovely. And then just relax in fact for our eyes and forehead how about we do use the mushroom tools and what i'll do <coughs> excuse me um is if you haven't got these at home so these are our more botanica lovely gua sha mushrooms if you haven't got these i'm going to show you what you can do with your fingers instead so if you have got them let's just do a little bit of lymphatic drainage around the eye area just like this and you can come underneath your eyebrows as well if you haven't got these just use your finger and go round, and then you can also do some under the eyebrows. So we're doing some under the eyebrows, some above the eyebrows. So I'm sorry if you just show the mushrooms and I'll show with the fingers for a moment. So really just working on that lymphatic drainage, reducing any puffiness under the eyes, any dark circles under the eyes. Just works so nicely. And then let's just go just between the eyebrows so softening those number 11 lines starting to relax any tension in our process muscle and again if you have body, we can just yeah exactly oh, yeah. Okay. sorry <laughs> either way we're both here, aren't we? I, I would rather use these i love the best tools you've got are your hands right because you don't have to remember them yeah but these are so cool on my forehead yeah. that i'm being a bit selfish I want to use these today. <laughs> yeah, carry on with that and then if we just do some lovely massage sort of outwards as well, just starting to relax a little bit of tension in our frontalis muscle there, softening any lines. And again, if you haven't got the tool there, just use your fingers. I like doing almost like in three semicircles. So sort of above the eyebrows, middle of the eyebrows and near the forehead area as well. And then coming to your temples, massaging around the temple area is beautiful. Again, you can do that with fingers there. And just breathing deeply as you do this. I like doing it both directions. A lovely acupressure point for reducing stress. Very good if you're prone to headaches. It's really lovely for just releasing a bit of tension around the eye area and just encouraging that blood flow around the eye area as well. And whilst we're doing a little bit of acupressure points or marmor points, let's just use one of the tools and let's just do a little circular massage between the eyebrows. And again, just use your finger there. If you haven't got the tool, that's lovely. And the other way, doing a little bit of a, a fast track acupressure now. And let's just go into that. The sinus area there just either side of the nostrils massaging in or you can do that with your fingers as well massaging one way and the other way beautiful okay so pop your tools down if you're using the tools and let's just finish just by working back and just along the jawline across the mouth which just repeating a few of the moves that we've done up here and let's just come around the eyes a couple of times there and then up between the eyebrows let's just go across the forehead and let's just finish by doing a little bit of lymphatic drainage just detoxing and just pulse on the color bones there just encourage that drainage down to the lymph nodes Bring the hands back onto the heart center, close your eyes again. And I want you just to focus back on your breath. 
And also just notice how your face is feeling in this moment. You might want to even compare it to how it felt at the air at the beginning. Notice any change of there. Maybe you can feel a different sensation. Maybe you're aware of that life force energy, that prana. Maybe you're aware of some warmth or some circulation. And just soften and relax any areas which may still feel a little bit tense. And then just go back to your intention that you set at the beginning. And just notice if you've achieved that intention. And if you haven't, no problem at all. Just take that intention into the rest of your day. And take another long, deep breath. And when you're ready, just gently open up your eyes. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. That, that's the moment when you slow down and you stop, which I think is the hardest thing to do, especially when you've got your phone in front of you, right? So, right, okay, on to the next thing. And taking that time to feel the benefit, let alone get the rest of the benefits from slowing down your practice. That's when all of the creases and the wrinkles seem to go. <laughs> it is, and the thing is, it's such a holistic approach. So what we're doing with our hands makes a difference, but also what we're doing with our breath, what we're doing with our mind, what we're doing with our body. You know, it's a real 360 approach. Thank you so much. Now I have got some questions. I've got people asking for exercises for the frown lines. Yeah. Um, I've got, I mean, we, we have done many for the frown lines. I presume she means, what does she do for the 11s lines? Yeah, so we can do this one. I also like doing it here with this part of the knuckle. It's lovely. It's really nice to take two fingers and just gently smooth that area apart. Another one you can do is outer edge of the eyebrows, you can widen the eyes and just start to um, release tension in this area. All of those can be do up to one minute each. I've got uh, questions. Where can they buy the product? If you head on to almorabotanica.com, you can find the products that we've been using and both of us, both Danielle and I have been using the Radiance Day face oil. This is the one that's fantastic for everything, hydration, nourishment, protection, and also is super, super light. So if you want to wear it with makeup, this is, this is what you want. And then the mushrooms, when we post this video to Grid, you'll see about a giveaway that you'll have the chance to enter. And they're part of the pack. The, the giveaway will be worth 500 pounds. Uh, so make sure you enter that. And then next question for Danielle. How can I get rid of sagging skin under the eyes is the question. So we've already done a little bit of the massage here, which is helping to reduce some of that puffiness and dark circles under the eyes. But if you really want to work with strengthening that area, so strengthening the muscle, I really like to do eye yoga or eye movement. So placing a hand on the forehead, this encourages the forehead to stay still. And then you widen your eyes and then you focus on looking up and looking down and just do that in a nice sequence up and down and this is strengthening the ring muscle that goes around the eye orbicularis oculi muscles and as you strengthen those muscles the skin attaches tightens and tauter and then you can go side to side as well it's also retraining your forehead area to stay nice and still so we become a less expressive with our forehead area and you can even do things like going around as though you're looking at a clock face one way and then the other or just practicing with wide eyes all of those are really really beneficial and do this for about one minute per day you can do it twice a day if you like but keep it up regularly that's how you'll see results thank you i'm always conscious whenever i'm moving the eyes that my eyebrows are always trying to lift up <laughs> at the same time it's like they're trying to help so I was trying to isolate the, the yeah. movement of the eyebrows with the roll of the eyes to strengthen these guys. Exactly. Now we've got actually, you know, really relax that area. I've never had any sort of Botox or injectables or anything like that. And what I do is these techniques to really train my forehead to stay relaxed and stay still. I think that's the thing, isn't it? It's, it feels like a quick fix to get an injectable, which is fantastic that it's available to us. But if people just try, if you just save this class that we're going to post with Danielle's, Try it three days in a row. Look in the mirror on day four and you'll realise in the 20 minutes that you've done this session, well, that was probably your journey to and from the gym, the treatment, the facial and back again. And it just saved you how much money? Yeah. So my next question is from Emma. I'm starting to get an old neck. Um, is there something I can do each day? 
this class. So bring your head back, lips together, and it's that tip of the tongue up and down towards the roof of the mouth, rate about one per second to tighten up this area here. Do it 60 seconds and do it twice a day. And also be aware of your posture in day-to-day -day life. So what we do for two minutes a day is going to make a difference. But just be aware you're not creasing this area too much. You're not letting the fluid build up throughout your day. Particularly if you work at a desk, really open this whole area up and think about your posture. That will make a big difference to your neck. Thank you. And I've got a, a fantastic question which kind of relays on to what you've just said. Weight loss in the lower part of the face. Is it best to do more strengthening than massage techniques in this case? So with weight loss, we can't spot reduce fat, um, fat from anywhere in the body or the face. So we can't just say, okay, we're going to work on this area burn fat in this one area um, when we're looking at fat reducing it's actually about weight loss overall in obviously a very healthy balanced way what we can do though is we can tone up muscle and we can reduce fluid accumulation so if it is this area for example i would definitely focus on lots of massage in that area to start off with to try and boost the circulation and try and reduce some of that fluid build up and then i would also work on on that technique I just did to strengthen a toe. You can also bring your hand here, the other hand's going to go on your elbow here, and you're just pushing up through the, um, the hand, and the chin is being stopped coming down, and that's gonna strengthen that area. Just hold that for 30 to 60 seconds. So focus on toning and focus on massage, and those two things are gonna help. But unfortunately, we can't just spot reduce fat from very specific areas. And that relays onto a question that I couldn't ignore. Uh, Sacking jowls, help from Christine. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's one for her as well, right? Yeah, exactly. That one and the one we just showed. And also bring your massage into it as well. You know, what we want to do is we want to get that prana or that chi, that life force energy flowing around the body. And often when we have either accumulation of flat fat or accumulation of fluid or lines and wrinkles, it's often a sign that there's something stagnant about the energy in that area. So don't be afraid just to get that energy moving. It makes a huge difference. I'm going to be doing this all afternoon now. <laughs> <laughs> Going. <laughs> yeah. So, look, as we wrap up, because we are running out of time, Danielle, thank you so, so very much. Remember that these exercises, just like Danielle said, they're not just for today. They can be part of your daily routine, whether you're lying in bed, standing up, parked up in the car, waiting for somebody, or in between emails. And this will help you promote your overall well being, not just the aesthetics of facial fitness. So, that's a wrap for us. Thank you so very much for joining us. And, Danielle, thank you so very much. For leading us through this class um, obviously people can find you on instagram they can find you on youtube they can find you on the almorabotanica.com website shortly our face yoga fitness classes will be live and people can buy your face yoga journal from us too right yeah, absolutely yeah thank you so much victoria for having me today it's been wonderful yeah, thank you so so very much and i'll see you guys soon thank you to everybody who joined Bye. Bye.